very good afternoon to everyone we will start the session next chapter that is comparing quantities now here in this chapter we will study what is ratio and proportion percentage how to solve the questions of percentage simple interest compound interest okay many many topics are there which you will require in higher classes that you will be studying in this chapter okay comparing quantities this chapter is also there in class 8th also okay okay what is a ratio yes can anyone tell me what is a ratio what is a ratio can anyone tell me what is a ratio yes darshana darshana khandarma uh, a ratio is a comparison of two or more quantity of same kind correct a ratio is a comparison of two or more quantities of same coin same kind same. okay to abhi dekho uh, suppose i traveled the distance of 2 km and suppose om jadav traveled the distance of 3 km so now we have done or we can say the quantities are same here so we can take the ratio now okay we can take the ratio to get the relationship between the distance which i traveled and the distance which om jadav traveled okay so that relation is obtained by ratio that relation is obtained by ratio we will see the definition now a ratio is a comparison of two or more quantities of the same kind using division okay रेशो कैसे बताते हैं हम लोग सपोज मैं यहाँ पे टू बाई थ्री सो ये जो बीच का जो साइन है दिस साइन इज ऑफ ऑफ व्हाट दिस इज ऑफ डिवीजन दिस साइन इज ऑफ डिवीजन ओके सो रेशो इज द कंपैरिजन ऑफ टू और मोर क्वांटिटीज ऑफ द सेम काइंड यूजिंग डिवीजन वी कैन डिफाइन रेशो ऑफ टू क्वांटिटी सपोज आई एम हैविंग टू क्वांटिटीज ए एंड बी ऑफ द सेम काइंड इन द सेम यूनिट एज अ फ्रैक्शन ओके सो रेशो क्या है रेशो इज नथिंग बट अ फ्रैक्शन ओनली रेशो इज नथिंग बट अ फ्रैक्शन ओनली ओके एंड व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फ्रैक्शन यस पलक व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय अ फ्रैक्शन सर सर माय वॉइस इज कमिंग यस यस सर अ फ्रैक्शन सर अ फ्रैक्शन इज दैट वी पार्ट ऑफ होल we represent as a part of whole okay we represent as a part of whole fraction is represented in the form of like this a by b where b should not be equal to 0 and this a and b are what whole numbers okay whole numbers yes to ratio bhi jo hai na ratio and fractions are same only okay yes <clears throat> the diameter of venus now see the example the diameter of venus is about 12000 km okay or diameter of saturn now what is venus and saturn what is venus so they are planets they are planets correct okay the diameter of saturn is how much units tens hundreds thousand ten thousand lakh one lakh twenty thousand kilometers okay so we compare the planets by writing the indicated ratio of their diameters so if i want the relationship between the diameter of both this planet what i will do i will take a ratio i will take a ratio so what it will come 12000 upon, upon 1 2 3 okay. 4 this zero this zero this zero three zeros will get cancel so 12 ones and 12 tens are so 1 by 10 is the ratio that represents the relationship between the diameter of venus and diameter of saturn is it clear to you why we require ratio yes sir palak mute yourself echo is coming okay <clears throat> is it clear to you so what is ratio ratio is the comparison of two or more quantities of the same kind 
אוקיי. אוקיי, מובינג פורוורד. נקסט איז קונספט ऑफ प्रोपोर्शन. व्हाट इज कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्रोपोर्शन? व्हेन टू रेशियोज आर इक्वल, दैट टर्म्स आर सेट टू बी इन प्रोपोर्शन. ओके? व्हेन टू रेशियोज आर इक्वल, देयर टर्म्स आर सेट टू बी इन प्रोपोर्शन. If A upon B is equal to C upon D. Now first ratio is what? A upon B. Second ratio is what? C upon D. Okay. If this ratios are equal, then their terms, which are the terms in this ratio? A, B, C, D. These are the terms in this ratio are in proportion. So for that, what we can write? A is to B. This is double is to sign. Okay. Yeh proportion ka sign hai. Okay. Okay. प्रोपोर्शन हम लोग ये ऐसे चार डॉट से बताते हैं ओके इज इट क्लियर टू यू सो ए इज टू बी इज इन प्रोपोर्शन विथ सी इज टू डी द नंबर ए एंड बी आर कॉल्ड एज एक्सट्रीम्स अब आप यहां पे देख सकते हो इन दिस रेशो एक्सट्रीम क्यों बोला है क्योंकि ए और डी कॉर्नर में है एट द लास्ट ए जो है वो लेफ्ट साइड के कॉर्नर पे है और डी जो है वो राइट साइड के कॉर्नर पे है इसलिए उसको एक्सट्रीम्स बोला है ओके सो ए एंड डी आर वर्ड एक्सट्रीम्स एंड बी एंड सी आर इन द मिडल यू कैन सी यर इन दिस रेशो बी एंड सी आर इन द मिडल सो दे आर कॉल्ड एज मीन या फिर मिडल टर्म्स ओके इफ ए अपॉन बी इज इक्वल टू सी अपॉन डी देन इफ वी डू द क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन नाउ सी a upon b it is equal to c upon d so we will do the cross multiplication so what we will get a multiplied by d it is equal to b multiplied by c so from that what we can write a and d are nothing but extremes so product of extremes is equal to product of means okay b or c mean ya fir middle term hai a or d extremes hai ओके तो यहाँ पे ए और डी का प्रोडक्ट हो रहा है तो हम लोग बोलेंगे उसको प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्सट्रीम्स यहाँ पे बी और सी का प्रोडक्ट हो रहा है तो वी विल टेल इट एज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मींस एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्सट्रीम्स इज इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मींस ऑलवेज इफ द रेशियोज आर इन प्रोपोर्शन ओके इट विल बी मोर क्लियर टू यू वेन वी विल डू द एग्जाम्पल यू जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द थेटिकल पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वेन थ्री पार्ट Three terms A, B, and C are in continued proportion, like like this A upon B. Continued, याने देखो A upon B और B यहाँ से फिर से continue हो रहा है देखो B upon C is, C is the second ratio. So that's why it is called as continued proportion. So if we do the cross multiplication here also, what we will get B square is equal to A into C. So where B is called as the mean proportion and A and C is called as and c is called as the third proportion of a and b okay you will have to write these things in your cw the previous page also and this page also i will give you the example now for <clears throat> these two things if the ratios are equal then they are set to be in proportion like suppose 2 upon 3 it is equal to 16 upon 18 okay it is equal to 16 upon 18 now what they have said do the cross multiplication so do the cross multiplication what it will come 2 multiplied by 18 and equal to 12 multiplied by 3 you can see 36 is equal to 36 why it is coming equal because these two ratios are in proportion Why it is coming equal? Because these two ratios are in proportion. Okay, so this is what this is product of extremes, and this is what this is product of means. Om, everything is correct. Whatever I have written, that is correct. okay next is percent and its conversion when the denominator of the fraction is 100 the fraction is expressed as a part 
परसेंट तो जब भी डिनोमिनेटर हंड्रेड होता है तो हम लोग उसको कैसे रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं परसेंटेज में लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज लाइक दिस थ्री अपॉन हंड्रेड सो हाउ वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट दिस वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट दिस एज थ्री परसेंट ये सुनो इफ वी आर गिवन लाइक दिस फोर परसेंट सो वॉट वी डू फोर अपॉन हंड्रेड ये सुनो you got 65% in the exam so what it indicates 65 marks you got out of 100 ya fir 65 parts of marks you got out of 100 yes or no percentage hum log bachpan se dekhte aa rahe in our report card okay so percent cent means what 100 per cent so per Hundred parts. Okay, we do the comparison. Percent is represented by the symbol percentage. This is the symbol. Okay, and it means out of hundred. Suppose you got sixty five percent. So what it means? Out of hundred, you got sixty five marks. Okay, out of hundred, you got sixty five percentage. Sixty five parts of marks you got out of hundred. okay like 1% means one part of 100 2% means for two parts of 100 3% means for three parts of 100 like that like that 15% means for 15 parts of 100 65% means for 65 parts of 100 okay to convert a fraction or decimal to percentage multiply by 100 this point is very 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 important both these points are very important okay now suppose we are having a fraction suppose this is my fraction 3 by 4 is the fraction i want to convert this fraction in terms of percentage so what i will do i will multiply this fraction by 100 so what it comes yes what it comes palak what it comes sir 4 ones are and uh, in hundreds it is 25 za so 75% so So three by yeah. four fraction in terms of percentage is what? It is seventy five percent. Okay, Akshara, one more. I will. Akshara, you will answer me. Yes, sir. One yes, by sir. one by eight. Convert this fraction in terms of percentage. One by eight. One point eight percent. Hmm. what i told this is a fraction for converting a fraction in terms of percentage multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 then 8 to 1 4 2 and 4 25 4 25 so 25 upon 2 25 upon 2 percentage so it will come what 12.5 percentage 25 by 2 is what 12.5 okay vaishnavi Vaishnavi, yes, sir. What happened, beta? So late response. Um, sir, I ah. nothing, sir. Okay, now tell me about this fraction. I want to convert this in percentage. What it will come? Two by three into hundred. Hmm. साइन जब होता है बीच में तब करते हैं तो एक एक चीज बस आपको ध्यान में रखना है फॉर कन्वर्टिंग द फ्रैक्शन इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेज मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड बस इतना ही ध्यान में रखो दैट्स इट ओके नेक्स्ट इज वॉट उल्टा नाउ to convert percentage to a fraction now if i i have given you like this 
Now I want to convert this 90% into fractions. What is 90%? 90 is nothing but 90 divided by 100 percent ka sign aane ke baad yaha pe denominator mein 100 a jata hai. Okay. So this 0, 0 cancel. So 9 by 10. So 90% ko koon sa fraction represent karta hai? 9 by 10. To fraction ko percentage mein aur percentage ko fraction mein convert karna aapko aana chahiye. Okay. Yes. Om Jado, tell me 75% in terms of fraction. Sir, 75 by 100. What it comes then? 75 by 100. Uh, send 4 by 25. 4 by 25. So, 4, 4K table, 75 is 3 by 4. 3 by 4. Okay. 3 by 4 is the yes. correct answer. Mute yourself. Arya Mirkad. Yes, sir. Uh, what is 63% uh, in terms of fraction? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 63 upon 100. 63 upon 100, uh, sir, it cannot be divided, so it will be 63 upon 100. Now, if I want to convert, Arya, if I want to convert this fraction in terms of decimal, so what will be that? Sir, 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 0.6%. Uh, 0.63. Percent to percent, how will percent come from? Percent already given. 0.6 upon 100. Uh, 0 0.63. In terms of decimal, it will be 0.63. In terms of fraction, it will be 63 divided by 100. Okay, mute yourself. Is it clear to you? You should be able to convert the things, huh? Okay, now we will start the exercise. <clears throat> Whatever is the theory part, first you will write it, then only you will start the exercise. I will share you the PDF file after the session. Okay, convert the given number to percent. So we have to convert this given number into percent. Yane ye number yane kya hai? Ye fraction hai. 2 by 10 kya hai? Fraction. So fraction ko agar humko percentage mein convert karna hai, to abhi just humne thodi zair pehle dekha hai. Kya karna padta hai? Multiply by 100. What we do? Multiply by 100. So what it will come? 2 by 10 multiplied by 100. Okay. So what it will come? This 0, this 0 cancel. So what it will come? 20 percent. For converting a fraction into percentage, we multiply by 100. Okay. Yes, Darshana, next one. Bolo. The question is 5 upon 4. So we will write 5 upon 4 multiply by 100. Okay. 4 1s are 4 25 are. Okay. Uh, is equals to 1 125. 125 percent. Okay. 125 percent is the answer. Okay. Next one. 2 by 9, we will do this. Yes, Harshwardhan. Harshwardhan Jadav. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, 2 by 9 into 100. 9, 9, 1, 9, 9. 200 upon 9. Okay. Uh, now divide it. Nine, sir. Hmm. Sir, you do it. Why you not come? Sir, division. Yes, sir. Nine, ten, nine. Sir, nine, ten, nine. Nine, ten, nine. Nine, So, 22.22% .22 only it will come. Okay. Point. point uh, yes. 2, 2 will be the recurring number. It will come again and again. Kitne bhi bar divide karo aage, aapko 2, 2, 2, 2 hi milega. So, 22.22%. .22%. Okay. 
Yes, Siddhi. Next one. Yes, sir. Sir, the answer is thirteen percent. Answer is thirteen percent. How thirteen percent? Okay, sir. I thought of E one. A D one. Okay, sir. Sir, six upon thirteen multiplied by hundred. So what it will become? Us. Uh, so it is not divisible. Ah, value will come in decimal. No issue. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Us. Uh, Sir, the answer in thirteen multiplied by hundred fifty is seventy six forty six one. Sir, the answer is forty six point fifteen. Forty six point one five percent. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Next, who will give the answer? Yes, Bolu Palak. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Um, thirteen percent is the answer. Now this value is given in terms of decimal. First, what you do? Ye decimal ko yeah. fraction me convert kar do. Ye ho jayega thirteen divided by hundred. Okay. अब इसको परसेंटेज में कन्वर्ट करना है तो मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड दिस हंड्रेड हंड्रेड गेट्स कैंसल वन जाफ इक्वल्स टू थर्टीन परसेंट ओके सो डेसिमल इफ यू आर हैविंग द डेसिमल फर्स्ट कन्वर्ट दैट डेसिमल इनटू फ्रैक्शन एंड आफ्टर कन्वर्टिंग इट इनटू फ्रैक्शन कन्वर्ट दैट फ्रैक्शन इनटू परसेंटेज यस सर ओके नेक्स्ट वन कबीर सी और आई डी नेम हा आई डी नेम इज जस्ट कबीर निहिलानी सो दैट्स वाई यू आर मार्क एबसेंट एवरी डे दैट इज द रीजन कन्वर्ट द गिवन नंबर टू परसेंटेज ओके यस आर्या बोलो यस यस सर सर टू पॉइंट फिफ्टी फाइव थ्री वी विल कन्वर्ट फर्स्ट इन फ्रैक्शन That is two two hundred fifty three upon hundred into hundred, so correct. it will be two hundred and fifty three percent. Two hundred and fifty three percent, correct. Okay, so the answer is two hundred and fifty three percent. Yes, Om Jado, next one. Yes, sir. So the question is zero point zero nine. Hmm. Sir, we will write zero point zero nine by hundred. Zero point zero nine by hundred. Aisa. Okay. Anyone else? Harshvardhan. Yes, sir. Sir, nine upon a hundred into hundred. Nine upon hundred into hundred. So this hundred hundred will get cancelled, and we will get the answer as nine percent. Zero have value. Ne rehti na zero ki. What happened, sir? Oh, Om ne zero zero nine bola na ke par ab zero ki value nahi rehti na. Beta zero ki value hoti hai. Agar number ke baad zero ho, to uska bahut bada value hota hai. Number ke pehle ho, to uska value nahi hota hai. Okay. Agar main idhar kitne bhi zero likho aur baad mein nine likho, to iska value nine hi hai. But ye nine ke aage, agar main paas zero de dunga, to iska value bade jata hai. It becomes what? Now four zeros are there, so it it becomes ninety thousand. So it depends on the position where the zeros you are putting zeros to the left of the number or right of the number. Okay. What I told, if it is a decimal value, first convert it into fractions, then multiply it by hundred, and then you will get the answer. Yes, Akshara. Next one. Yes, sir. Hmm. Sir, so the question is thirteen point two six. We will write uh, in fraction thirteen to uh to twenty six upon hundred into hundred. Hundred hundred will cut third one thousand three hundred twenty six percent. Hmm. 
1326 person correct okay colors next one colors yes sir, yes, sir. sir uh, 10 percent of 200 is 200 divided 10 which is 20 10% of 200 means 10 upon 100 into 200. 100. This two zero cancel, this two zero cancel. 10 into 2 is remaining. So that is equal to 20. So 200 ka 10 percent kitna hota hai? 20 hota hai. Okay. 200 ka 10 percent kitna hota hai? 20 hota hai. Jaysay 100 ka 10 percent kitna hota hai? 10 hota hai. Okay. Okay, next one. Yes, Siddhi, can you tell me the answer for next one? Siddhi Kapse. Yes, sir. Hmm. Bolo. Sir, 15 upon 100 multiplied by 600. 15 upon 100 multiplied by 600. This two zeros cancel. Yes, sir. What we will get then? 15, 6 is how much? Uh, 15, 6, sir, 90. 90. So, 600 is 15% kitna hota hai? 90. 90. Okay. Agar aapko 600 may say 90 marks agar aapko milte hai. 600 out of 90 that means how much percentage you are getting 15 percentage you are getting okay okay next one we will try the next one yes akshara yes sir hmm. uh, the question is 25 percent of 350 so we will take uh, 25 upon 100 into 350. This zero, this zero can one zero one zero cut. Then 25 into 35 upon 25 upon 10 into 35. 5 one and 2 sa and 5 7 sa. 25 into 35 upon 10. Itna apko solve karna hai. To 2 za 5 za. Okay, correct. Five, Next 35 into, into 5. 35 into 5, it will come. Uh, 175 upon 175 upon 2 next what it will come mm. 2 se divide karna hai bas mm. ok sir so. what it comes bolo sir so, 1 minute 8 za is 16 it will come 87.5 87.5 correct so 25% of 350 is how much it is 87.5 ha harshwardhan what's your doubt no sir sir solve ho gaya sir samjha okay Hmm. Bolo colors. Sir, I have question number two. Ke uh, second one, my doubt. Kya doubt hai? Sir, fifteen percent of six hundred to forty aenga na sir. Forty aenga? Nahi ha sir. 40, six hundred ka six hundred ka ten percent kitna aata hai? Pehle wo bolo mujhe chalo. Sixty. हाँ तो फिर आप बोल रहे हो 15 percent 40 आएगा जबकि 10 percent ही 60 आ रहा है समझ रहा है क्या आपको 15 percent ज़्यादा आना चाहिए ना 10 percent से 10 percent 60 आया है तो 15 percent 60 से ज़्यादा ही आना चाहिए ना हाँ so 90 is the correct answer Okay, Palak Bolo. Next one. Yes, sir. So, 
express the following percent as fractions so it is 26% so we will divide mm -hmm. by 100 so 26 upon 100 mm -hmm. so it is um, if we do it 2 so 13 upon uh, 50 is is the answer okay so 26 percent in terms of fraction what it comes 13 upon 50, 13 upon 50. yes okay but you can know what in a class um okay next one who will do this yes very nice question it is first you are given mixed fraction aria mirkad yes sir Mm -hmm. So first we will con uh, that is in mixed fraction. So we will convert in improper fraction that is thirteen by four four percent. Then thirteen by four percent four into hundred that is four one the four uh, twenty five the hundred. Into hundred nahi beta. Into hundred nahi upon hundred. Upon hundred. Hmm. Percent yes. sign ke liye upon up ham log upon hundred lete hain. ओके okay, तो 100 के नीचे कुछ भी नहीं है तो 1 है तो ये अगर हम लोग शिफ्टिंग करेंगे इसको डिनोमिनेटर का डिनोमिनेटर तो ये क्या आ जाएगा 1 अपॉन 100 सो व्हाट वी विल गेट अल्टीमेटली 13 अपॉन 400 सो दिस इज द फ्रैक्शन दैट विल रिप्रेजेंट 3 1 by 4 परसेंट यस सर ओके सो वी विल स्टॉप हियर सी एंड डी इज होमवर्क टू यू Question number three, C and D, only C is there, I think so. That C is homework to you. We will continue with question number four from tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think so, there is holiday. You will get a message on your class WhatsApp group after all the classes are over. Tomorrow, there is a study leave. 